Okay, so your first graded assignment for this class is to join our class Deagle group and then post your research topic along with your first three sources. So that's what I want to go over with you today. So this is the Digo homepage. It's just digo.com up here in the, the search box. What I'll be doing is sending you each an invite to join the group. Once you get that in your email, you'll have to open that up, click join, and then it'll take you to a page that looks similar to this. Then you'll have to actually join the website. So if you click on join Digo up in the the top toolbar. You'll see a page like this and it'll just ask you to do the basic sign up option. So username, email address, password. For your email I would recommend using your Alaska email. You don't have to but it'll probably make things easier in terms of class communication. Once you've done that click continue and you should be good to go. Um, I'm going to sign into my account and show you what it looks like. Okay, so all you have to do to sign in is just use your email address and whatever password you've chosen. And then click sign in. Okay, so this is what my Digo page looks like. And this is just a website that lets you bookmark different things around the web so you can come and look at them later or if you're doing a project or a research paper, it's a good place to keep your sources so that you don't lose track of them. And that's what I use it for. So I have all kinds of different LS101 stuff in here and different library stuff and just kind of a miscellaneous group of things. Um, but what we'll be using it for is just for our LS101 class. So once you're on your own homepage here, you'll see in this blue bar up at the top a link that says My Groups. Go ahead and click on that. And you should see this link, the LS101 Winter Master 2013 group. So you would click into that and this is where you need to post your research topic and your first three sources. So what I want you to do in here is click on Topic and write the title of whatever you're researching. So let's say, for instance, you're doing your research on organic farming. So you type that in here. And then in the comments section, go ahead and write your actual research question. So mine might be, is organic farming a healthier alternative to traditional farming methods. Okay, so that's your actual research question or you could think of it like a thesis, right? So then underneath that you need to list your first three sources. So the easiest way to organize this is probably to just type in source one. Oops, sorry about that. Source one, source two, and source three. And then just copy and paste in a URL if you have it or the title of a source. And for this first assignment, you can get your sources from anywhere. They can be web sources, they can be books or movies from the library catalog, um, anything that you find interesting on your topic and you think might be helpful down the road. So for this assignment, we're not going to worry too much about whether you got authoritative and scholarly sources since this is just a starting point. So what you need to do is actually go in and find your first source. So my first one is going to be the Wikipedia entry on organic farming. So all you need to do is copy and paste the URL, go back to our Digo page, oops, and paste that in, and then do the same thing for sources two and three. So you could also look at government websites if they're applicable to what you're researching. Um, anything that ends in a .gov for the URL is going to be a really good authoritative website. They're really good places to find facts, so you might want to consider that. And then my third source is going to be from the library catalog. So if I did a search for organic farming, I could just pick anything that looks good from here. So maybe I want this movie, Deconstructing Supper. Just copy and paste the title. And then tell me it's from the library catalog. Okay, and that's all you need to do. Click on post and you're good to go. You'll see your topic there. If you click on the title, you'll see a place to add comments. So you, you might see me comment in there or another class member comment in there with other sources or something like that. So pay attention to the comments section. You can also go in and edit or delete. Okay, 